I know I'm lucky that Alex's life meant so much and it continues to have a profound meaning, but it, it's still hard to come to terms with the incredible loss we feel and what that loss has meant to our family. As our three boys have grown older, they're now 14, 19, and 22, I've grown to appreciate their perspective on what it was like having a sister with cancer and what it's like to grow up without her. But even I was not prepared for the emotions when my oldest son, Patrick, recently wrote a letter to Alex on the 13th anniversary of her passing. It captures her life so perfectly, but at the same time, it gives a unique view through the eyes of her only big brother. So we invited Patrick here today to share that letter with you as a tribute to Alex, but also to give a voice to all the super siblings out there who are often the strong, silent heroes when a family is fighting cancer. Come on up, Patrick. Hello, can you hear me? So uh, like my mom said, uh, Alex, the founder of the organization, was my younger sister. So this is a little letter I wrote last month on the 13th anniversary of her death uh, to give some color to you know, what the families of the children who died from cancer go through. And for anyone from Philadelphia, it was uh, printed in the Philly Inquirer uh, last month, too. To my sister, Alex. To my sister, Alex. Today marks 13 years since your death on August 1st, 2004. At the time, you were eight and I was nine. Had you lived, you would be 21 now. It's difficult to imagine because you'll always be fixed in my memory and in the memories of mom, dad, Eddie, and Joey as an eight-year-old girl. It's even more difficult to think of all the things that you've missed in the 13 years since he died. Our family has had 65 birthdays, nine graduations, and two new dogs. I think that if you were alive, even you would be surprised to see what your lemonade stand has become. Or maybe not, you always had a way of knowing things. Tens of thousands of events each year and over $140 million raised in total. We'll be a little bit more after today. Quite a far cry from the lemonade stand you set up in our front yard not too many years ago. When I think of you on this day, the word that comes to mind is bittersweet. It's impossible to recollect the joy of your life without also bringing to mind the tragedy of your death and the tragedy of pediatric cancer. Should I feel happy to have known you or sad to have lost you? Should I think of the thousands of lives that your dream saved or your life that ended too soon? Should I remember the fullness of your years or the shortness of your life? Do I remember the days sitting in our backyard, you drawing and me reading, or your final days? when your illness had progressed beyond the point of no return. I could remember you as a lot of things. The lemonade girl, the childhood cancer survivor, one of my best friends, my little sister. But none of them do you justice, because you wouldn't be you, you wouldn't be Alex, if they weren't all true. More than anything else, I remember you, I will remember you, for what you have taught me. When asked about your cancer, you once said, I'm grateful for what I have not ungrateful for what I don't have. You, a terminally ill child, were still appreciative of what you did have. To me, that describes you better than any label, encapsulates your image better than any picture. It reminds me that even though you were never old in age, in many ways you were old in wisdom. For the lessons that you taught me, I will always remember you, and I will always be grateful. With love, your brother, Patrick. 